Yes, I really do make my own diesel fuel out of used motor oil and gasoline. And I'll tell you how I filter it, mix it, and process it. My shed is really dirty right now. It's really messy, but ah, you could deal with it. So I set one of the raw used motor oil totes in my shed. I let it sit between one to two weeks minimum. That's very important for any water, metal, dirt, carbon, anything like that to settle to the bottom. So take that little 12 volt DC pump I told you about in the previous video. On the pickup hose I have a little piece of steel pipe to weigh it down. So what I do is I put it all the way to the bottom of the tote. You can feel it when it hits the bottom. Pull it up about 5 inches and then uh, put something heavy to hold it down. Like that. So it doesn't drop down any further down in the tote. I pump it out of my raw motor oil tote through this hose. Make sure you have hose clamps so it doesn't come apart. That's why I have oil mess in here. Into this 25 gallon drum. The hole in the bottom I cut into it. And an old bed sheet with a red strap holding it off the bottom so it acts as a screen. What happens over time as this gets filled with garbage like hair, dirt, stuff like that. Uh, it starts clogging up and see how it's not draining out of the filter. I'll show you how I clean it so I don't have to change this bed sheet. So this shows you how much crap just the bed sheet filters out. It's like grease. Bed sheet is now clean, ready to filter some more oil. So I hook up the oil pump to the battery charger. I usually put it at 6 volts between 12 to 4 hours. So I just let her go. Between each session, the oil is going to get higher and higher and higher because the sheet gets more clogged up with dirt. So when it gets up about halfway, stop running oil, clean it out with a wet dry vac, and then start running the pump again. Six hours, four hours, two hours, one hour, until this gets clogged up again. So you can see how it's filtering through the bed sheet, out the hole I cut in the bottom of the barrel, into the tote. When the tote is full, let it sit for at least two weeks for anything that maybe got through to settle to the bottom, just like the raw motor oil tote. After I mix the stale gas I get from the junkyard, the first stage filtered used motor oil. I put the right mixture in the tote. I mix it up with a homemade mixer that I can fit down into the tote to mix the gas and oil. So I use my dipper and I time how long it takes for the fuel to drain through the paint can. So that way I can add more oil or gas to the mix to get the right mixture I want. 25 gallons of gasoline and then I fill it to the up to 250 gallons with the first stage motor oil mixture. And that's when I mix it up. 